to play for and uh, three maximum points at stake. Let's see who really carries the day. Uh, we're handing you over to Christopher Poku in commentary position as we take a look at the first half of this game. Well, everybody, welcome to the Accra Sports Stadium. For Marcia Sandegoro, as the guest, Liberty Professionals as the host, this is match day 14 of the Glow Ghana Premier League, of course. Liberty Professionals have not lost a game at home this season. For Marcia Sandegoro, have not won a game outside of Barbera Sports Stadium this season. And this is the Liberty Professionals dressing room. The sparkling jerseys also being shown and with everybody getting ready in the dressing room, sorting themselves out, the bandages, the stockings, what have you. And uh, the boots as well. Just for the Liberty Professionals to get themselves ready and prepared for the match at hand. And those are, that's the cross section of the Liberty Professionals players all waiting. Determined to do their bit tonight against Kumasiya Sante Kotoko. Kotoko. Yafrin Paul. Goes past one. Tries to go past the second. Well, try to simulate obstruction, but the referee wasn't interested. And Liberty Professionals. And that was James Aban trying to wriggle his way out without success. Now Koroko and Aba. Good play there by Ntibuachi. And Koroko almost losing possession, but they have it now. That's a lovely ball, if you can get there. Richard Yaboa. Ball cleared out there. That's good play by Yafrin Pong, but he loses out. Good play there by Akufu. Ohini Brenya. Finds left by Baba Abdul Rahman. Rahman. Donko. Donko trying to go past this man, but uh, eventually he's fouled. Donko. Oh, that's a lovely play by Koroko. Donko, can he control? Corner kick. Well, that was great play. A good break down the left-hand side. But uh, an equal good recovery by Liberty Professionals. But the corner is on. So is Michael Okufa going across to take this particular corner kick for Kumasiya Sander Koroko. They're now in second place after Hartsburg drew 0-0 in uh, Big Chambers afternoon. Well cleared out. And Koroko. Good skill there by Akupu. Shifts the ball forward, looking for Ntibache. What's he gonna do? Crosses the ball, no one there. Intubachi used to play for Liberty Professionals, by the way. He certainly did. Well, that was a lovely ball over the top in the first place from Michael Okufa. And Liberty playing back to the wall stuff. But can they do a good counter attack? That's a good ball in. But a pass left a lot to be desired. John Kufour. And this is Yao Frimpong. Poor pass. Entry. A Koroko pressing very, very well. Not allowing Liberty any room at all. Musa Silla. Free kick to Koroko. Quickly taken. Yao Frimpong. Yao Frimpong trying to work out a way to get in. Ball comes out for a throw. Good four. And it's a free kick to Kumasi and Sandekoroko before Kofi Chibachi could latch on to that. 
Alfred Paul. Ball cleared out. And Abba. Good defensive work done by Kufo. Looking for Nathaniel Asamoah, but well defended. Good play there by Liberty Professionals. Putting the pieces together. Yakubu Issa, key amongst them. Good possession play, but they need to move the ball into Kodoko's half. Well, it looks like Kodoko have a very well organized defense, from what I can see. Well, both, both defenses look organized. I think Liberty look the more patient out of the two sides. Kumasi Asante Kodoko want to strike, and they want to strike while the iron's hot, understandably. But uh, my only concern at the moment is the balls over the top, which seem to cut out the midfield play for Kumasi and Sandy Kodoka. I think uh, they could well utilize. Well, hang on. What a brilliant tackle. That was an absolutely fantastic tackle there. I think it came from Alfred Nelson. What a tackle. It well, certainly that, was. That was a brilliant ball from Natalia from the It wasn't bad. Here we see the replay. A lovely little ball in. That's well timed. That is so well timed. So what does this corner kick bring us? And Anaba trying to create problems, but I think there was a foul in the build-up. So Liberty will have some breathing space. But Nathaniel, of course, will be playing his role as a second striker, somebody working down the wing particularly the left wing and trying to feed the balls to go into Bwachi. Yeah, it's all about supply, isn't it? That's his role, that's his main role, but uh, if he gets the opportunity to cut in on his stronger foot, I'm sure he will take it and have a shot or two. And Yafrin Pong's skills, drawing a foul. And referee Joe Baffle elected to give a, a verbal warning. No. I thought a yellow card would have come out by now. Well, it hasn't. I think... Uh, He's set the tone. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna suck it and see. Uh, that challenge looked a bit a bit harsh, but uh, he's let it go. Just the word will do. And now, Anaba, Akufu, Babara man. Well, that goes straight to the goalkeeper Razaki, sir. That's a lovely ball. If Aban can get there, turns round. Wow. Went down, but Liberty still have the ball. Now, sort of win possession. Well, I'd love to see the replay of that one again. That was a very close call. Well, hang on. Natalia La Samoa. Well, if you give that, then there's no reason why you shouldn't give the initial challenge. The other 18 yards. And that means there's been a lack of consistency in decision making. Well, have a look at this. The ball goes over the top. It's a lovely ball as well. Uh, well, well, he pushed him down. <laughs> I'd love to see the, the, the uh, appeal for the penalty before that, because I think it's a similar thing, Chris. Well, Liberty putting the ball together. Well, it's an opportunity. Well, that looked more, more of a shot than a cross. Going nowhere, really. Oh, any bring out. Yafrin Pong. Nathaniel Asamoa. And Liberty just keeping possession. And Koroko get the ball back. Nathaniel Samoa, can he go past this man? Brings it back for Richard Yaboa. 
Anaba. Well, that ball goes straight to the goalkeeper. Well, their midfield doesn't seem to get involved until they get into the final third. And Aban pulled down. I remember describing this striker as a pest during the game against Hartleburg, and he's proving to be so to the cut of his pants. Yeah, he certainly is. The referee once again opting to have a word. So they have a look at this. Pulled him, pulled him down. going to be a, a free kick to Liberty. Well, that was a very good well-struck free kick. And it's a corner kick. That was a bullet. Well, to be honest with you, I was a bit quiet when he was running up. I didn't think he would have the effect. But the technique he utilised was fantastic. A well-driven shot, well-driven on target. The goalkeeper couldn't even hold it. And it was the central defender. Have a look at that. What a shot. Just raising for him, and Sulaima had to use strong arm to put that away. That was instantly seeing the central defender for Liberty. He, couldn't, he, he just couldn't take the risk to try and hold it. I think he did the best thing, and he, and he was fortunate he didn't really knock it back centrally to a Liberty professional player. And Razak Isa trying to stake a place until Daniel Adir returns from the African Nations Cup. Well, I'll tell you one thing I like about uh, Razak at the moment, his distribution isn't bad at all. And the Alfred Bon trying to work his way as best as he can. The Alfred Bon. Alfred Bon again. And Frippon now drives forward. What's Frippon going to do? Ball cleared out. John Kofor. Ball crossed inside. Now Frippon again. Before Richard Yabua could get there, they won it. But Kodoko looked like winning possession again. Ball goes out for a throw in. Richard Yabua goes down and wins a free kick. The former Real Tamale United player signed on for Kodoko. This, I believe. It's his first full match for Kodoko. It's his first start, isn't it? Yeah. And um, it's a Kufu behind the ball. It is a boy out from Paul. It's Eric Dunkel. Oh, almost threaded it through to Nathaniel Samoa. Well defended by Liberty. Okay, Liberty win possession. We give a help down the other flank. The Afro Paul will wrap up the ball. Kodoko still have possession. Anaba. Richard Yeboa. Sent a good cross in, but uh, the attack is almost wise to it. 
Mehdi Ashia getting that ball away. Okorogwe again win the ball. That's not a bad ball by Razaki Sam. Quick off his line to pick it up. We're talking about distribution. Almost found James Aban there. It's not bad. You know, Liberty professionals are prepared for Aban to face two defenders and take them on. That's how much confidence they have at the moment. They're always trying to feed him, and he's always covered by two defenders, but he's not showing any fear at the moment. Not at all. And this is Yakubu Issa. But that pass cut out. And Akufu looking over Vitu Bwachi, but Razak Issa to Edgy. This is Aban who's dropped deep. Nelson. Kingsley and Ting. Daniel Jemphy. And Aban from deep races down here, but uh, the ball goes out for a throw in. Professionals now putting some passes together. Foot up. I thought Richard Ebert won the ball clean, but the referee thought otherwise and said foot up. Well, if you have a look at this replay, Chris, this is the issue. That is wow. too high. Too high. That is way too high. So Richard Entry has the opportunity to send one into the box. For Liberty Professionals. And that's a very good punch by Sulaima. But Liberty, well, they kick the ball out as a goal kick. That's authority to goalkeeping. Yeah, I think the punch was a bit weak, though. The, the distance that the ball went wasn't good enough, really. It still fell within the 18-yard box. There was still danger there. And really, when you come with a punch, you know, you've really got to send that ball as far as possible. It was more like a flap to me. Well, did the ball cross the line? Well, well, here, we, here we see again. It's not a punch. Have a look at this. It's like a flap. Because it just falls just in front of him. Here we see a reverse view. He aims to punch it. No two ways about it. But he can't, can he? He's misjudged oh, it. Oh, opportunity! And he redeems himself with a fingertip save. And now as Kennedy Asher, he loves to shoot from distance. And he tried one, and Sulaima fingertips it over the bar. Well, that was a first chance for Liberty Professional. But Sulaima passed the test. And Korogo get the ball away. And uh, now looking at Liberty Professionals dealing with the danger as calmly as possible. But this was the shot. Look at Lovely that. little back heel. He's got space. But what a great save. Here we see the reverse angle once again. Just pushes that over the bar. That's a fantastic save. Brilliant. From Sulaima. Good skill there by Kennedy Asher. But again, John Kapoor is using a lot of anticipation and uh, awareness to, to set most of the ball. Well, that's how the game's played these days. You don't need the, the hammer coming down to smash the peanut anymore. You need players who can read the game and can anticipate play very, very well. A little bit of professionals trying to work out a way to split up in the corner of defense. Entry, that's not a bad ball to Francis Morton. Well, guess the deflection and it's a corner kick. Well, I think they've given a goal kick here. Let me see. Oh, has he? I think so. Well, let's take a look. Well, well it's clearly a deflection. But I think the ref's uh, off camera has gone to see to a, a Colocal player who's down on the turf at the moment. It might be Nathaniel Asamoah. It he is Nathaniel Asamoah. 
off camera. But he has given a goal kick. Of course, this is match day 14 of the Blue Premier League. You're watching it live between Liberty Professionals and Comasia San Antonio on Super Sport across the length of South Africa. Before I go on, ask for another shot of that chance again. Great save. Brilliant back heel. That was Balloon. What a great save there. And of course, brought to you by Kind Tessie of Rice Master Tasty Show Moments to Remember. Supported by Azapi number one. Glow rule your world. So strong love and smoke you burn. There's no taste more satisfaction. Samsung Cat 222. Two. Oh, here now. Anaba. And Kofi Tibachi. That's a good ball. So don't call. Looking for a return ball, but uh, Alfred Nelson was there to deal with it. And James Saban almost turned away, but well tackled there. He's been watched like a hawk. Well, he's a slippery player, old Aban, isn't he? Lovely little movement there, tried to turn the defender, just didn't come off. But you can see what he was working towards. Anaba. Richard Yaboa, looking for Alfred Paul. Beats this man and draws the foul. Free kick and ask uh, Jay Sapong. Well, he's looking quite cool at the moment, but I think he'll be worried about this one. Here we see the ball, lovely little flighted ball over the top. Drops nicely. The Kufu just pulls it back, beats his marker, but he's tripped in the process. So there's going to be a free kick, and uh, it's Eric Jong going to take it. Kisa managed to punt the ball out. Oh, brilliant skill there by Babadu Rahman. Very cool and collected. Oh, well, that was wonderful. And uh, Anaba. And Koroko. Keeping the attack going. And Kufu. Yafrimpo. Yaboa. Now what is Yafri Pong going to do? Find the shot! Well, the keeper did very well to remain on ruffle because it was a deflection. And he grabbed the ball at the end. Well, he's kept his eyes on the ball. Here's the shot. And look at the deflection. Not a wicked deflection as such. Well, the keeper keeps his eye on the ball and uh, it makes it easy for him to collect. Richard Yaboa. Beaten to it. Asher. Daniel Jeffy and Kwame Boyne goes down and wins the free kick. Well, I think the referee got that right. There's no two ways about that. It was a free kick. Boyne tried to stay on his feet. Here we see from the replay. He tries to stay on his feet. Credit to him, but uh, he can't maintain the position and uh, lose his possession. And rightfully so. It's a free kick. They've had about three free kicks in that position, or in positions similar, but they've all been wasted. Certainly have been, and uh, now a free kick to be taken. Well, the ball driven across didn't really help out. The wall did his job. Kingsley and take. Well, this time his shot going off target. Ball driven across, and this is uh, Kofi Tibwachi. Ball cleared out. Ball 
Oh, and another ball is on the pitch, so uh, I have to stop that for now. And Kodoko. Richard Yaboa. Not a bad header. I was coming from Eric Donko, but uh, couldn't direct his header on target. Well, here we see the free kick. One of the problems with the balls that come across the box from Kotoko is they take too long to come down. They're hanging too much. And uh, during that time, it gives Liberty Professionals time to get behind the ball. And uh, Kotoko still getting the ball out of defense. Neither side have actually created clear cut opportunities. Well, I think Liberty have had a clear, clear opportunity, but that was saved by Suleiman. That shot in the 18 yard box. That was a chance. All kicked back. Kufu. Natanela Samoa. Been well taken care of so far by the Liberty defense. Akufu. Does very well to win the ball back. Ball comes out evading both uh, Yafra Pong and uh, Richard Eboa. And this is uh, Musa Silla. Morton. Silla losing out and fouling his man, Yafra Pong. in there. Buffy to Boache. Well, again, Kodoko didn't deal with that ball. Yafrin Paul. Morton wins that ball away from him. Yakubu Issa. Asher. Looking for Aban. And John Kofor had to kick the ball out. Aban is a pest. He is a pest. A very quick pest as well. He's got lots of pace and he looks very strong as well. A little throw in a free kick and that's the first section of the Monaco bench watching on. I think it's a free kick he's, he's just given. Not quite sure what for. Because I think they're both having a go a bit of van bags. That was Kwame Boahine, also trying to test number two. But whatever it is, the free kick and uh, Francis Morton is going to bend this one in. Every Kotoko player is in the 18-yard box. Well, that was...